Hey, welcome. My name is Dr. James Huberfield and I'm from The Unusual Pet Vets. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clip your guinea pig's nails. Um, so a skill that uh, is often needed for a lot of guinea pigs that are kept indoors or in areas where they're not wearing down their nails as they normally would if they were in the wild um, or outside. Um, a lot of guinea pigs that are kept outside that um, dig around and um, run around on grass and other sorts of similar surfaces will wear their nails down naturally and you don't have to worry as much. Those that are kept on newspaper and hay, um, generally over time their nails will get longer than they should. So we're going to look at how to do the nail clipping. Um, first things first is what you're going to need for the nail clipping. You'll need some sort of implement and I recommend um, something similar to these little cat nail clippers for guinea pigs. Um, they're marketed as for cats and, and that's really just because they're quite small. Um, so they're, they're handy for our small creatures like guinea pigs. And basically um, what else you need is a towel and you're going to pop that towel down um, on, a, on a flat surface so that that way you can pop your guinea pig on there if they poo or wee or anything you're not going straight through onto your nice bench top um, and also they've got somewhere um, sort of uh, secure and flat that they can sit while you're, while you're doing it. You can also hold them and have someone else hold them if you want to, um, if you've got a helper. But I'll show you how to do it on your own today so that you don't always need a helper. Um, okay, so basically before we get into nail clipping, I just want you to have a think about how, what, what we're trying to achieve um, with nail clipping. And basically what we're trying to do is to um, clip down the excess areas of nail growth. Um, and so it's back to the stage which would be um, normally in wear. If the nails get too long, they can get caught on things, um, they can dig, turn around and dig into their skin, all sorts of things. So we don't want that to happen. Um, what happens with a nail is they have a blood vessel and blood supply within the nail to a certain point and then after that um, the, the nail is effectively dead tissue um, and so there's no nerve receptors in there um, that are active, there's nothing that is going to, um, you know, you're not going to cause any damage if you clip in the right spot. If you do clip too far and you clip back and hit the blood vessel there will be some bleeding and so what I'd recommend is you start at the end and gradually work in rather than going too far at the start. If you do cause bleeding, um, you can apply some gentle pressure to the end um, and then give your local vet clinic a call and they'll be able to help you out with where to go from there in terms of stopping it. Okay, well what I'll do now is I'll grab out one of the guinea pigs we've got here that needs is some nail clips and um, we'll run through how to do that with them as well. Alrighty, so we've got this little critter here today. Um, okay, so what I would um, recommend with these <laughs> guinea pigs that are um, often a bit fiddly um, is if you're having trouble what you can do is do a little wrap on them. Um, I might just grab another towel actually and I'll just show you how to do that. So we pop that towel on top of there. Okay. You can wrap them up like a little guinea pig burrito um, I suppose is the easiest way to, to call it and you can do this with other species too if you need to. Okay, so if you've got them all wrapped up and you grab out their little foot, you can see the differences in the nail. So the white little bit on the end um, is the excess growth and the red pinky bit is where the blood vessel still is. So these guys haven't got excessively long nails. Um, they're probably a tiny bit longer than what I'd normally say, but really they're pretty close to what I'd, I'd worry about. So these guys will only probably need to take about a millimetre off um, each, each one to get them back to how they should be. So once you've got the nail there, you want to just come along and using your tiny little nail clippers, just clip off the end of that white bit. There we go, we're all done. And then you can just feel on the end nice and smooth. And then we just continue along and do that with the other ones as well. Okay, so that's the basic skill that you need to clip your guinea pig's nails. Um, if you have any other questions at all, or you're not confident, just get in touch and we'll give you some other pointers. Um, but if you otherwise, I think, you know, it's something that um, most owners can, can handle. But if you're not sure, again, get someone to show you that's done it lots of times before, before attempting it yourself.